Imagine controlling the ball with ease, dribbling past defenders and setting up the perfect play. If you want to improve your ball control, stick around. We're about to show you the top 10 ball mastery drills that will elevate your game and make you more effective on the field. Let's get right into it. For the first exercise, we're going to be doing toe tap. All right, so you want to tap. Let's say you start with your right and you go with your left and like you're hopping. So you want to stay balanced. You want to stay light on your feet. You really want to alternate with the sole of your foot. If you want to increase the difficulty, you can obviously try to keep your head up and increase the speed. Really, really get those nice touches with the sole of your feet. Make sure you're able to scan around and have good control of the ball. Being comfortable with the sole of your foot will allow you to manipulate the ball in tight spaces and beat multiple defenders when you need to. Okay, so for the next exercise will be the sole rolls. You can start by rolling the ball across and controlling with the sole of your foot and rolling it back across. All right, you really want to be able to control with the sole of your feet and this will be a good exercise for that. So again, you know, you can start slowly, really rolling it smoothly across, controlling with the sole of your feet. And as you want to increase the difficulty, try to look up as well, you know, have good control. Obviously this skill in particular will help you in tight spaces as you see in the top level in professional game. When they manipulate the ball, just roll the ball side to side in tight spaces. It'll be good for those type of situations. So the next exercise we're going to be doing inside taps. We're going to be focusing on using the inside of our feet to be able to control with both sides. So we're going to be doing some light taps. We want to really control the way in which we're tapping the ball. You know, start slow to get better and more confident. Start to look up, increase the speed. You want to keep your body relaxed, bend your knees a little bit more so that you have more balance. To be comfortable with the inside when you're dribbling. Sometimes when you're taking on defender so that you become a little bit more unpredictable instead of always having to dribble with the outside of your foot. So for the next exercise, we're going to be doing the push-pull. Let's say I'm starting with my right foot. I'm going to pull with the sole of my right foot. I'm going to push with the laces of the same foot. So it's going to look something like this. Obviously, as you progress, try the other foot as well. You want to really have that fluid motion and light touches. You really want to be able to control the ball. So obviously, we focused on the sole. Now we want to be focusing on the laces as well. Obviously, for the push-pull drill, you want to really focus on moving the ball forward while keeping it close to you. And, you know, obviously, you can start slow and try to speed it up. Obviously, working with both feet, you know, making sure you have that comfort with both feet really really important okay so for the next exercise we're going to be doing the inside outside so we're going to be alternating obviously we focus on touching with the inside and we did a little bit of the laces as well but we want to be able to manipulate the ball and change direction so obviously you want to start by touching with the inside and quickly touching with the outside of your foot and yeah really really focus on getting the light touches with the inside and then quickly shifting your weight and touching with the outside of your foot. Obviously, you want the movement to be a little bit more fluid and you want to be working with both feet. You want to stay balanced. You really want to get comfortable with, you know, touching the ball with both feet. You can really, really shift your weight, manipulating the ball with both outside and inside. This will really, really help with changing direction. You know, obviously, if you can go with the outside or inside of your foot, it makes you a lot more unpredictable as a player. The next drill will be La Croqueta. It's a really, really good skill move to use when in tight spaces, you want to be shifting the ball from one side to the other. So you're going to start the ball with one side, one foot. You're going to drag it across with the inside of your foot to the other foot. And, you know, obviously once you be a defender, you want to push out into space. Focusing on the speed and the timing. So obviously at the start, you want to do it slowly, drag it across and really control it. It's kind of similar to the inside taps, but obviously a little bit more advanced. So yeah, you want to drag it across and then turn out really, really effective skill move when done with the right timing and the right speed in tight spaces. When you're able to drag the ball across quickly, exploit the space, that's how you beat a defender. Kind of bait them into wanting to get the ball and then you shift it across to the other side and then take the space. Okay, the next exercise would be inside tap with one foot and the outside tap with the other foot. You want to start with the ball on one side. You're going to tap it with the inside and then you're going to tap it with the outside on the opposite foot. So what you really want to focus on here is making sure that the, the touches are light and that you can manipulate the ball in different directions. And obviously you want to be caught you stay balanced. This is really, really useful when you want to manipulate the ball in tight spaces. And if you want to be a defender, because sometimes you can make it look like you're going to do like the early exercise inside, outside. And instead of going on the outside with the same foot, you can push out to the other way into space. The next exercise will be V cuts. So what you want to do is you want to start with the sole of your foot on top of the ball. And you want to drag it back and then push it forward, almost forming like a V shape. This is really good when, let's say, you know, there's a bunch of players that in one direction and you want to turn out to the other side. You know, you can bait the defender and push out and go out the other way. So obviously for the V cuts, you really want to be focusing on being precise and sharp, making that sharp change of direction, you know, to get away from the defenders 
and create more space for yourself. So for the next exercise, it's going to be the L drag. You want to start with the sole of your foot on the ball. You're going to pull it back and then you want to push it with the, the inside of your foot in an L shape. So it's going to look something like this and you want to practice with both feet. Obviously, as you get better and better, more confident with the movement, keep your head up and, you know, increase the speed. So obviously for the L drags, you really want to focus on being able to create separation. For example, you can make it look like you're going one way and then you drag to the other side and play. Let's say the defender's coming this way, make it look like you're going to play a pass. Drag it and push out the other way. So for the very last exercise, we're going to be focusing on a very fundamental move, the body feint with an outside touch. So for example, if I want to go out to the right side, I'm going to body feint with my left foot first. Make it look like I'm going to touch that way, bending my knee, lowering my shoulder, and then pushing out to the other side. It's going to look like this. You really, really want to focus on selling to the defender. For example, you're going up against the defender, selling that you're going one way, and then go out the other way, opposite direction. You bait them into going one side and turning out the other way. Obviously, the trick here is you really want to be timing the move. So you want to really sell. Like you're going one way and then go out the other side. Really, really important is that you sell that feint. If you're not convincing, you don't drop your shoulder enough, you don't make it look like you're going that way, the defender's not going to bite on it. So you really want to sell the move. Like you're going one way and then go out the opposite. And that's it for this video. That's the top 10 ball mastery drills for footballers, uh, beginners. Really, really good stuff. If you continue to work on these sort of drills, you will improve your footwork your coordination and overall you're just more confident on the ball if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe do share it with anyone who you feel like would gain some knowledge from this video let me know in the comments what was your favorite drill which one do you think was the most effective to be used on the football pitch but yeah look forward to more of these sort of type of videos we're gonna continue making the sort of stuff that you want so do comment down below what sort of stuff you want to watch in the next few episodes take care this is Mario from Zero to Hero signing out